After managing your contacts, the main feature on System.io is building entire sales funnels in just a few clicks. To do this, select Funnels on your dashboard, and this is where any funnels that you have created will appear. You can filter them based on whether they're active or inactive, as well as search any of the terms you've used in their name. Let's create one together. I'm going to call this a test funnel. Now, there are four different funnel templates for you to choose from, where you can build your email list, sell your products or services, a custom one which helps you start from zero so there are no pages, as well as running evergreen webinars to automate your business. I'm going to select custom for today. Then here, this is where you can choose any currency that you would like to use for your funnel. There are plenty of options to choose from, so there's definitely one here that will suit you. I'm going to stick to the US dollar for today. Simply click on create, and there you go. Your funnel has been successfully created. It's really that easy. Now, as you can see, there are no funnel steps here yet, except for an inactive page. Let's go ahead and create a step together. Simply click on create, and name your page. I'm going to call this a squeeze page. And then I'm going to use the squeeze page as the type of page. Click Save. And there you go, squeeze page created. This little icon over here means that you haven't chosen a template yet. As you can see, guys, there seriously are loads and loads of templates for you to choose from. And you can start with nothing as well as that's what you prefer. But for today, I'm going to go ahead and select this one. Let's take a look at the dashboard for these funnel steps. Over here, this is the step configuration where you can change the name as well as look at the URL path and then get a very handy link to this page. Next, we have automation rules where you can set up automations to make this whole process so much easier. AB tests is where you can test different versions of that page. Stats, this gives you detailed statistics on all of the pages in your funnel, including page views, the opt-in conversion rate, as well as the conversion rate for your sales and revenue. Sales does the same, but it focuses just on how many products have been sold. And then finally, deadline settings. This is a newer feature where you can create a deadline funnel. So if you have a time limited offer, you can actually set it up so that as soon as that time limited offer is over, people are automatically redirected to your inactive page so that they can't take advantage of that offer anymore. It's a great way to push your prospects to convert sooner. Now let's go ahead and add another page. I'm going to call this one a thank you page. And then I'm going to select opt in thank you page as the type. Click on save. And there you go. The second page has been created. Now this little triangle again means that you need to select a template. So let's go ahead and select this one. As you can see, guys, you're free to change the order of your steps to whatever you need it to be. But let's take a look at this inactive page. It's a really, really useful page to have. This inactive page is really convenient if you have a time limited offer. So when time runs out, you can deactivate the entire funnel and all of your leads will be redirected to this inactive page. And then you can add an opt in form here so that you can use this inactive page to still gather leads, especially useful if you've just had a big launch with your affiliates. Click Save Changes and Exit. Remember to save, guys. It's really important. If you select here, you'll be able to change the sales funnel settings. You can change the name of the funnel as well as change the funnel domain if you have any others registered. Here is the currency. And then once you register your Stripe and PayPal account, you'll be able to toggle between the payment methods here. Click on save. If you would like to add a custom domain to your profile, simply select your profile, go to settings and follow the instructions from there. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a sales funnel specifically built to help you grow your email list.